Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Surface 2 4G along with its companion product the type cover 2 with backlighting no less let's take a look at this very new piece of equipment comes in a very snazzy kind of Microsofty type box with power block charging and the unit itself which as you can see is quite slick plus some special offers you get a year's worth of free Skype and OneDrive after which of course you have to pay and a user manual the Surface 2 4G features the typical Windows Metro interface and as you can probably tell it's a very crisp screen. This is a full HD 1920 1080p screen and it's very nice indeed. Um, for comparison, let me just drag over here. Here's the Lenovo ThinkPad 2 which is running a, 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 the same, obviously, same uh, operating system, but with a 10.1 inch screen versus the 10.6 inch screen of the Surface 2. It's a, it's a, you can, I don't know if you can pick that up on the video, but it is definitely crisper on the, uh, on the Microsoft model. Running, of course, both running different CPUs. This is the, the Microsoft Surface is running uh, uh, t an NVIDIA Tegra 2, uh, 1.8, gigahertz and this is running an, uh, a 1.7 gigahertz um, dual core Intel Atom so that's the Lenovo versus the Microsoft straight off the bat it comes with 64 gig storage as, as standard for on the base base model um, as I said a clear type HD 10.6 inch screen 5 much touch Tegra 4 with two gigabytes of RAM, so it's a quad core 1.7. And the 4G model obviously features the ability to slot in a nice SIM card. We'll try that out in a second. You get up to 10 hours of video playback apparently on this and seven to 10 days of idle life. That's standby, I assume. Maybe. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4, as you'd expect. And light sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, and a magnetometer. 5 megapixel rear facing camera, which I find surprising um, since 8 megapixels are becoming standard on tablets now, of course. Um, but we'll see. And a twin microphones with noise cancellation. So let's look at some of the ports on here, shall we? What do we got on this side? We have the charge port. Mm, that's the little thing that slots on there to, to charge a magnetic. But, you know, it means you have to carry around another charger with you. Anyway, USB 3. HD video out, the first, the second, two speakers, power button on the top, uh, 3.5 for the headphones and volume up and down. And this little slot, which I don't know if you can see, can you see there? Yes, that's the SIM card slot. So you just pop that in, I'll put a SIM in in a second. And at the back, of course, you've got the ability to pull that out. And under here is the micro SD slot, extra storage. Now the Surface doesn't have GPS for some reason. I, I'm, I assume it's a cost consideration or something, which is, puts it at a slight disadvantage over products like the Lenovo, which does come with GPS built in. However, the advantage of the uh, of this two uh, Surface Two is that it does come with a 4G capabilities, um, a SIM card for SIM card roaming outside of Wi-Fi. I, I've slotted in my 3G card in common with quite a few places where we're standing has no 4G coverage. So I'm just going to have to show you. What, how it runs without Wi-Fi on the 3G. So let's have a look. You aren't connected, well, we should be. I, oh, there you go. So this is the front page of the MSN default that you get. And as you can see on 3G, this not running. Let me just show you, prove to you, we're not running. We're actually running O2 rather than Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi on here. Let me just show you that. Uh, Wi-Fi is off. So this is running just simply 3G. 
and as you can see it's pretty fast um, that's one of the the benefits of having a, a snappy processor and, and uh, a decent amount of RAM that it is actually doing and this is as I say 3G not 4G so you can imagine that uh, 4G will be and I've not this is not cached or anything this is just straight off the bat you know I'm pretty impressed with that kind of speed it's not it's it's not sluggardly at all it's really crisp so it's nice and brisk definitely that let's uh, try and see if we can find a a little video to run through and see what that looks like on 3G there you go full screen low res 3G so here's a uh, a graphics oops a graphics you've got no accelerometer of course so I'm, I'm having to use quite clunky controls on this to get it going this is a, a, a hydro kind of riptide clone there you go there's an example of oh ow the frame rate and the gaming so it does game it does play it clearly has enough graphic capability to to handle 3d graphics at speed as you'd expect with an nvidia tegra processor in, in at the core of it let's take a quick look at the camera and as you can see it's a well it's <laughs> fairly normal it, it's a five megapixels i said earlier so it's not the highest resolution which is again something of a surprise given that we've got eight megapixel cameras as standard as they are on the lenovo and others so but you know it, it, it does the job i wouldn't say you'd want to use it as, as your major camera I'll give you some video here i love my cute little robot he boogies like crazy Yeah, the, the quality is nothing to shout home about, but it'll do the job. That's as charitable as I can be about the camera on the uh, on the Surface 2. Okay, finally, let's just take a quick look at the combination of the Surface and the keypad uh, touch keyboard that goes with it. The idea is you just slot it in and it becomes keyboard enabled. It becomes a little cute little tablet, uh, laptop kind of ultra slim very flexible nice little keyboard actually I mean it it uh, it really does snap in nicely it's magnetic obviously uh, let's just see what we can do just to give it a demonstration blank document there you go this is it out this out of the out of the box no setup no nothing nice nice little keyboard very responsive yeah, I mean, my t it's very hard to type when you're standing up, obviously. But uh, I can tell immediately, you know, you can tell immediately this is is a really nice little setup. The combination of the of the tablet and this great little keyboard will work very well in the field, you know, to get take you out and about. And it doesn't add; it adds hardly anything to the overall dimensions of the of the tablet. Nice. Nice little setup, nice little setup indeed. Well, what do we think of the Microsoft Surface 2 4G? Well, it's a very capable tablet. It obviously has all the f functionality you'd need in a, in a tablet computer. And of course, being Windows based, it, ha it gives you a, a wealth of business apps and, and standard office apps, which is great for corporate use and, and trogging around. Of course, using a, 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 the Tegra processor means you've got lots of oomph for 3D graphics as we've seen. So overall, yes, a, a, a good a good pro product. Um, we like the 3G, we love the keyboard. Um, that's a really lovely uh, um, accessory and really makes a, makes a valuable addition to the, to the product. Um, and the fact that it runs so well on, on mobile internet is great. You know, so 3G, so you can wander around with it and you don't have to worry um, about having Wi-Fi next to you. So the Microsoft Surface 2 4G tablet computer. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you lots of other cool stuff as well. Thanks very much.